got another, cons uh, another extension today. We've arrived on site. The Robbies are currently demolishing the existing conservatory. And uh, we've got Jason, and we've got Alex, and we've got me, so there's five of us. We've got two skips, two eight ton skips, so we're alright for skips. So as soon as the Robbies have got that down. Oh, hello. As soon as that done. Done them this way. <laughs> so as soon as that's done, uh, we're going to um, start breaking the slab up and getting the old foundation out. Pretty much using the same footprint. You'll see when I go around, it's, a, it's like a Victorian shape. We're going to square it up. It's going to have bifold doors in it and four brick pillars to off wall. But um, we'll talk you through when we get around there. Chefs would eat biscuits, there's just a plate of biscuits every day. I thought I'd escape from it now. No, lemon cake is my weakness. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't fall. Well, long time though. Oh, yeah, it took a while, but we got there. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the slab taken up. Took a while, but fairly easy going, especially compared to um, the last slab we had to take up with the reinforcing in it. Thank god that didn't have this in it, otherwise, that'd have been all day, but um. Now it's definitely lunchtime. No idea what time it is. It's after 12 because Jeremy's on the radio. So we're going to get some lunch and then we're going to uh, just crack on until it gets dark, I think. Just do what we can today while we've got Jason. So, uh, yeah, catch you after lunch. And it's ten to five, and you won't be able to tell on the camera. But the night's drawing in. Clocks went back at the weekend, so it's third November today, my dad's birthday. So there's our foundation. We were going to take this out, but it is absolutely solid. You can see the depth of it. It's over a foot deep. It's over. Is the width of it and bear in mind all that's going on here is a pillar bifold doors right across that opening um, three, three brick pillar three brick pillar on the corner and then dwarf wall across the front three brick pillar three brick pillar full height dwarf wall and then a pillar so where this big lump of concrete's going in that's where the most of the weight's going to be. So, 
rope in the uh, building inspector is going to be okay with that. See what he says. And the edge of that concrete there, you can just make it out there. You've got about six inches up to the flag. Well, that our brickwork comes right to the edge of that concrete, so we're going to dig that strip out and concrete that strip as well. So that the this this little section wraps around, and then that should be it. We've got two test holes, one at each end to show the depth of the concrete, and obviously that shows the depth of the concrete. And then we've got this walls down. So this is gonna, gonna come across here and then round the manhole and then it's gonna square up back to that so it's everything square. It's just gonna have that kink in it to get around that manhole because we're not gonna start messing around with manholes. Um, we've basically, this, this stone in the middle, we've took a load of it out the rest of it we've raped through the whole lot and took all the bits of brick out of it so basically we need to get the brickwork up spread that out put that back in there's probably enough there to go around the outside as well so um that's day one sorted concrete is ordered for two o'clock this morning afternoon with Chorley concrete uh building inspector's booked on for tomorrow morning so we'll see what he says but um we're going to be here at half past seven to start digging basically do what Jason's done there. Jason's been a big help as, as usual. So um, I'll take you around the front and show what we've dug out. We've got two skips delivered. Two eight tonners with, with doors on. And um, one of the doors was facing the wrong way. So we managed to get the skip up on a on that, that piece of wood and spin it. <laughs> spin it 180 degrees. So there you go few more barriers in there just to fill it up there's the slab we took up and then we've got this one so we've got plenty of room for some stuff we've even got some crap at home to throw in here so we'll bring that with us tomorrow and that can stay on the job then until the job's done so the rubbish can use that too um, yeah that's the reason why we didn't have a grab block paving waste waste of time here's the main man here's a wave Jace yeah. <laughs> so See you in the morning. Very chilly good morning. Yeah, frost on the van this morning and it's November the 4th, th Thursday. So we're back and um, we've had a bit of water coming overnight. That was more or less dry, there's a little sump in that corner. Uh, we've had some coming here and that little test hole has been filled up. So, first of all, we need to get all the water out and then get the rest of this dig done. Ready for the building inspector to try and get nice and dry. So, um, it's a nice morning. Just chilly. chilly. We'll soon warm up though. So, yeah, we'll, we'll put you on time lots for a little bit while we get sorted. Oh, yeah, we've got this dig out today as well. Square that up. A little footing. So, um, that's us. Get this skip filled up before it goes. Right, time Al. 20 past 11. Okay, building inspector's just been, had a good look, showed them the test holes, showed them the depth of the concrete, as you can see there. It's a good, what, 15 inches of concrete there? And we've gone six inches below that, slightly under it. Um, quite happy to just mass fill this. It's going nowhere, the, the ground's good, the concrete's good. So, it's just fill it up and yeah get the get the rest of this sludge out so it's all squared off and flat put a little bit of a sump in it same as we've done there so we can get the last bit of water out because there is a lot of water in the ground um and then that's what's done here and we're going to get over here and get this dug out quick concrete's coming after two o'clock i might just ring them and say if they if they're free we can come we can take it any time but that gives us a chance to go and pick some materials up today we'll pick up the blue engineering bricks for the up to DPC 
uh, we'll be putting one course of common in and three course of blues, I think. Yeah. Roughly that. We might have to get concrete commons because this foundation's all over the shop. Uh, yeah, and course of block and a course of brick on the inside to bring us up to DPC level. Yeah, so thank goodness for that. We're okay. We can just pour it. This 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 section across here that ties it all together isn't even it's gonna isn't even gonna have brickwork on it. The brickwork's slightly back off the. It's just giving us a bit of spread on the concrete. Bear in mind, it's it's a it's a concert with a lightweight roof. So you know and that's there's only pillars on it. It's hardly yeah. There's just dwarf wall, dwarf wall, door and like pillars. Yeah, but anyway, we've got we've had the okay. We can carry on. And that's the local council, that building inspector. Yeah, everyone. If anyone tries to complain, we've got the okay for building inspector. So having out with them levels. Yeah, we'll <laughs> put the put the number in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, let's get this a bit tidied out and we'll get this sorted and cracked on with. Upside down here, so you can have a slide through. We're down. We're done. Got ourselves a little sump. Yeah, you know, just tucked underneath the concrete. And this is just insurance. We don't need to go down here, but it's just for a bit of spread on the concrete. And back into here, identical. And it's worked out just under a cube. We're going to come slightly higher than this concrete because, or it may be even slightly lower because this concrete's just over half courses, so we'll work that out. So, all we've got left to do now is just dig this little section of wall out for a little bit of concrete here because we're diverting the wall, squaring it off, squaring it off back to that little return over there. So, um, yeah. That's it. I don't know what's going on at this end. It's going to be a bit tight on this corner. At this section here. It's only going to be about 18 inches. So it won't be any bins going around here. But you can still get past. But uh, that's up to the customer. But um, yeah, that's it. Let's get this last bit out. In fact, we'll have some lunch first. And then we'll get this last bit out. Thank you. Sign out. Right Al, what are we waiting for? Concrete. Con what time is it? Three. Right. The window I was told was between two and five. Oh. So I hope it comes before it goes dark. Anyway, I should just think it'd be coming before that. We've got um <coughs> everything's marked up. What we've done is we've moved everything over slightly to get on the centre of the concrete. And also the concert wasn't central to the French doors, so everything's been moved and made symmetrical, marked up, drilled, ready for our tyres, which are all hanging up there, ready to go. We need to get some more of them. Don't let me forget them, Al. Yep. And that's it, we just need to tidy up, get some concrete in these holes, and then we're off. Hopefully we have time, we're going to go to Fairwoods and pick up some gear, which will be our blues for up to DPC, and the concrete blocks. The face brick, which we've ordered, which are the Throckley Old English? Where's it gone on? Oh, I see. It. Which are these? <sighs> That's the best we could get. The colour match is fantastic, but it's got a different face. 
and then um, these are supposed to have black dots in them well, this is, these have got like tar spots in them but they're a nice brick then they're gonna look nice well, even though they don't match but you can't get them so all those slagging us off in the comments saying your brick match is rubbish you can't get them anymore they don't make them so yeah see you in a bit
Where's it going to go? You've got to skip there. Just put it in the middle. Let it go off overnight. Put it in the skip in the morning. Not a problem. There we go, we're in. Poor lad's covered in concrete after that splash. And if you've heard it, if it's come out alright, you'll have seen that in slow motion. <laughs> That's our little wall sorted. See the nails. There you go, nice one. It's ready to rebuild. And Alex just took this down. It was the last barrow, so it's slightly over. And like I say there's a good 600 of concrete in there. And it's one, one complete piece that's going nowhere. So that's, the, that's what we've got over. That's going in the skip in the morning when it's gone off. Um, we've got engineering bricks at first go. So um, we'll be way early in the morning to go and pick our stuff up for tomorrow. And get a ton of sand ordered and some cement. We might probably pick the cement up. But yeah, look at that for a splash. 
Wowzers. Um, yeah, quick recap. We're ready to go. Vertical damp's been cut in, as you were listening on the, on the dusty video. And me. So, um, yeah. That's it, really. Stone ready to go back in. Once the brick works up, so hopefully prep on Sunday. We've got three blues. Probably a flag at the bottom. Out of gauge, so flags down here. This is gauge for our corners, so we can get our corners all right here. Don't worry about that, Al. No. They're coming out. They're going in to skip them. Quarter past four. You can feel it going dark. Sun's setting over there. It'll soon be dark. So we'll um, we'll catch you in the morning. Imagine you take you to fields with us. See you then. So we'll wrap it up and we'll see you in the morning. I missed the lens again.